going on guys and welcome back to some more Super Mario 3D World. In the last part we did uh, we did the first half of World Bowser and this part we're going to finish World Bowser and the normal game itself. Where, where's the Super Mario now? Um, the gimmick in this level is that there will be swamps and they kind of give you the uh, guy where to go. This stage is kind of a gimmick. I think there's also, we can also, yeah we can also get another boomerang. Now, I want to say there's something up here. Yes. See if we can get a one-up. One-up, yes. We got the first star. No, 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 no. All right, let's try this again. At least we get another boomerang. I think cheating death only really works if you have the cat suit. But at least, so uh, I, I want to say it's more we lost the one up we gained, so we'll just gain it back. Alright, we made the jump this time. We're at the checkpoint. We would have been at the checkpoint if we hadn't died there. And so, um, avoid these spike things. Eventually there's, yeah, there's gonna be a... Oh shit. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Another boomerang. All right, so this kind of lead. This kind of shows us the way. I want you to show me the way every day. I don't know why I would throw in a Peter Frampton reference right there. I would say, like, um, Peter Frampton and I was like, Frampton Comes Alive is an iconic live album, but it's like, I always thought it was a kind of a hit or miss album, because, like, I like all the singles off that album, but I feel there's a lot of filler tracks off that album, particularly the Jumpin' Jack Flash cover. You want to hear a really good Jumpin' Jack Flash cover, like, if you're watching this, look up at Alex Chilton's cover, like, um... That dude had kind of an interesting life. Like, he was a teen vocalist for the Box Tops, where, like, they had the song The Letter, and, uh, he went on to form the power pop group Big Star, which was, like, um, which was an influence by influential musicians. <laughs> it's basically, there's also a documentary about that group, about how they were a failed band, but a bunch of musicians signed them as influences. And, like, basically, like, um, he just had kind of an interesting life, is basically what I'm pointing out. Alex Chilton's also a guy like The Replacements wrote a song about. I don't know why I'm going music nerd in a Super Mario 3D World playthrough. And there's a stamp house. And another stage. Alright, so, um, let's go to the stamp house. Now, let's check our, uh, progress of what uh, we've accomplished in this world. So, um, let's just check our game accomplishment so far. This is World Bowser, um, this is gonna be, um, so it looks like we've got everything in the other worlds. So, uh, yeah. We're starting to close up the gap of everything in the normal game. Anyway, so World Stage 5, Deep Water Dungeon. 
I'm actually going to change it up and pick Luigi because I know for a fact we're going to need him for the next level. And we get to hear the awesome uh, dungeon music again. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Alright. There's, I think we need a cat suit. We might need a cat suit. I don't know if they're gonna offer a cat suit, but I think we need a cat suit. There's the stamp. All right. Um, any cat suit in here? Yes, there is a cat suit. Alright, here we go, here we go. Alright, get the get the water. And we we need the cat suit to get up there. And that gives us the first star. And there's a there's a the uh thing I forget her name. Or his name. Alrighty, so there's gonna be something up, uh, we're gonna need a cat suit. We're also gonna need a cat suit for this portion. That's the second star. Sometimes in these stages, they do a good job at hiding the stars. Oh shit. And there's another cat suit, thankfully. Alright, so let's go low. And go up. Alright, here we go. No, no, no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Well, um... We're just gonna commit suicide because I am not doing this level over again. Plus, I can just go back with the cat suit. Fortunately, they don't aim for a cat suit. We're gonna have to go. Uh, we're gonna have to go upwards, and we're gonna have to go back. All right. Go here. As long as we don't lose the cat suit, we should be fine. Because we do need a cat suit for that final star. Alright, um, just take our time, take it slow. No! Alright, one more time and I'll start cutting out the footage. Uh, attempt number three. Alright, attempt number three and, um... We have to go and get the cat suit, so, um... That's the second star. Alright, attempt number three at gain that third star. Alright, here we go, here we go. Let's just stay on the up. Let's stay on the upper part. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes! Alright, we're, we're also gonna get a one we have 100 coins, so, um, yeah, we're doing pretty solid. And 
we got a solid one up out of this, and that's all the stars. Oh yeah. And there's going to be a mushroom house, so, um, and a slot game. So let's go to the Mushroom House and um, see what we get. Will luck be on our side this time? No, it won't. Alrighty, so this for this next level, we're going to need Luigi. This is the last time there's going to be a... This is one of the last times of the character stamp level. And this one, this is a beam in the dark, and uh, basically we can basically kill booze with the the light beams. So that right over there is we're gonna we're gonna need the stamp. We need Luigi to get the stamp. Oh yeah, there's the stamp. I almost died just right there. Oh shit. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Because we're also gonna need this, um... We're gonna need this light for later on the stage. I almost lost it again. Alright, here we go, here we go. Can we make a shortcut? Yes. What's in here? Is there anything... Okay, I was just overthinking this the whole time. They really have more lights. Alright, be careful over here and uh, where I need to go here. Alright, here we go, here we go, yes. That's what we still need the light for. And I got that right on the first try. Oh shit. We just lost that uh, light thing. Just be careful. Just take baby steps. I don't remember if we need a light to get the third star. Alright. Yeah, the only way you can kill these ghosts or boos with uh, lights. Alright, we're gonna get this boo out of the way. And oh yeah! Yeah, you can just jump down and get and top that flagpole.
Anyway, so there's gonna be a, there's only gonna be a couple more stages left, so um, let's go with um. We just have to go here and go into this uh, World Bowser Cube that has 10 step green stars we have to get. I guess we'll just go with Mario for the rest of this. Alright, so we just have to climb up. We are going to need the cat suit for this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And we need to uh, climb up that right side. Oh yeah. Alright, there we go. Alright, claw this, claw this. And claw this, claw this. And that's Green Star. And, uh, just climb up this. And we kind of need to make a tricky climb with this one. There we go. We only need two more. Alright, so a uh, jump. Jump, then claw, then power block. There we go. One more. Alright, here we go. Here we go. One second to spare, we got all of them. Anyway, so that leaves us with only a few more stages left to tackle in World Bowser. And uh, World Bowser 7, Gum World Bowser 7, Grumble Lump Inferno. We'll just stick with Luigi. We might have chosen, we might, it might be better to choose Peach for this level. Because this is kind of with moving blocks. We get the awesome music again. We're going to hear it a lot in the later portions of this game. So I think this is the last time we hear it though. In the normal game at least. No, 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 no. Okay, good. We lucked out. The cat suit is so overpowered and it can save you in a lot of situations. So I think they offer a Tanuki suit in this level. Which is not a bad thing. Have a Tanuki suit and a cat suit in your inventory. Unfortunately, though, this doesn't turn you into a statue like it does in Mario 3. It doesn't 3 land either. Alright, checkpoint. And we're about to get a one-up in coins. Alright, so, um... Oh, shit. Okay, we gotta, we gotta plan this out. We're gonna wait till it goes right here. Right, thank God. No! Alright, here we go. Problem is we don't problem is we don't have the Tanuki anymore. So we do lose the one up we get. Oh shit, we, we just wasted a cat suit in our inventory. And we're going through the rest of this with small Mario. Let's see how this fares out. All right, that's the second star. Fortunately, we're not gonna get a Tanuki in this. We're gonna get a Mushroom, yeah. All right, just be careful. 
probably should have chosen Peach for this level in hindsight. Alright, there we go. We got all the... Alright, here we go. We got we just gotta top the flagpole. And no. Do I die on purpose and just have another shot at this? I don't wanna do this stage over again, so we're just gonna do we're just gonna keep dying on purpose so we get top that flagpole. And I'm not getting a white tanuki suit, so don't ask me to get it. I'm not fucking cheating. Again, I get hit at that hammer, brother. All right. Fortunately, we don't get a we don't get a Tanuki out of this, so um, Tanuki will make it much easier to top the flagpole. I might just end the stage normally and just go back into this with Peach and off screen, just end it that way, because Peach would be much easier to top the flagpole even if we don't have a Tanuki. All right, that's the third star. No, 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 no. All right, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, we got all the stars, and I went and got a uh, Tanuki suit off screen in the uh, last area, so we're gonna try this. No, 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 no. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? Alright, we gotta time this. There we go, we're at this level finally. Note to self, don't pick Mario in this level, pick Peach instead, because she can float. And there's going to be two more, um, there's going to be two more boss stages and then the final stage. So, um, Motley Blossbob or, um, Aristocrat. So, um, you know what this means. Oh yeah, not Peach. Oh yeah, you know what this means. <laughs> yep, every time there's a cherry stage, I am going to pick Toad in this. Alright, here we go, here we go. Yes. Alright. This time he's gonna have be he's gonna have uh, wave beams.
I think I lost like half my toads. Yeah, there's gonna be a one. We're gonna and we got a one up. It didn't make up for the five we lost in the last level. All right, here we go. We got two more stages left in this uh, main game, and we're just gonna we're just gonna go back in Mario for this other one. So goodbye for Toad for now. We're gonna go for Mario. Now, is there a power up in this stage? There's not. Alright, so we just need to get a cat suit, or we need to, uh, be at the right an- we need to be at the right angle with the, uh, plates. That's first hit! There we go! She'll be down. Alright. There we go! Can we get a one-up? Can we get a one-up? Can we get a one-up? Oh yeah. That's what we got one more stage to go and it's the last stage in the normal game. check our progress in this world see if we've got everything down so um if we come to our from world seven we just have one more stage left and uh got everything in world castle got everything in world six got everything in world five got everything in world four got everything in world three got everything in world two and got everything in world one now it's time to tackle the final stage of the game and we're going to need at least 170 green stars to access it And this is Bowser, well, Bowser Castle, the Great Tower, Bowser Land. So I, this place is called Bowser Land. And of course, there's no other appropriate character to use than Mario. Jesus, Bowser's got the Empire State Building. There's gonna be a cat suit at some point. We're gonna need a cat suit for some of this level. Now, go down here, we get the first star. 
Actually, is there a way to get back up? There is. Just a fair warning, though. For the first portion of this level, there will be no, there aren't any checkpoints. So, um, yeah, there's the cat suit. And we gotta kill these, uh, bullies. Alright. One more to go. There we go. And there's the, uh, don't worry if you have, um, two stars up to the bo boss because, um, let's say the third star is, the third star and stamp is during the boss. So you should have two stars going up here. And this is it. We gotta climb up the tower. And Bowser's gonna equip a bell, just great. Ladies and gentlemen, we're fighting Cat Bowser. Alright, so we just gotta climb up and avoid, uh... This is gonna auto-stroll, so we gotta avoid going down to the bottom. We gotta watch out to where he, um, basically, like that. He basically goes upwards, so... Don't go, because if you go, if you take that pipe, it'll go right here, so... There'll be another bell. Oh, shit. Thank God we have the other bell. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. That is the third star. Just wait till the screen scrolls a bit. And so we gotta climb up. Alright, wait, no, don't do that. And there'll be this the first. This done, we're done with the uh, first phase of this battle. We just gotta hit the power block. But there's still no stamp in sight. Yeah, there's gonna be a second phase of this fight. And finally, we get a checkpoint. So yeah, there should be a cat suit. No cat suit. Yeah, there's the cat suit. Just be careful. Again, watch the screen. But watch for the scrolling screen. And all right, here we go. Here we go. Yes. There's also another cat suit. Alright, here we go, here we go. And we gotta run up the stairs. So all these Bowser forms are going to chase us at once. We gotta get up the stairs and avoid death. Unfortunately, the camera for this port is pretty bad. We have to kind of let the screen scroll a bit. And finally, let's hit the power block. And that's game.
And he blows up into fireworks. Also, if you didn't get the stamp, don't worry because you can only get it this portion. The stamp will be up in that tree. Alright, here we go. One last hop of the flagpole. And we have saved all the Sprixies. A uh, game I really enjoy, and I really enjoyed making this playthrough. Now, this isn't the true finale yet, because there is a post-game. There's still some stamps we have to get, and there's still some, um, some, uh, stars we have to get. So, yeah, this is a really underrated Mario game. I had a lot of fun doing this project. It doesn't really turn out to be one of my best playthroughs on this channel, but I did really enjoy it. It's a unique take on a Mario game because, like, Peach is a playable character. Something that would also be done in uh, the recent Super Mario Bros. Wonder, but, like, um... I like how overall the Mario series for the past... The past three Mario games, only like Odyssey, Peach's gotten kidnapped. I do kind of like that for the past three Mario games, two out of three Mario games, like, Peach has evolved into being a playable character. Because that's something that really hadn't happened since, like, Mario 2. And I do like how these are not only the same characters from Mario 2, but it's, they also have the same, like, abilities, strengths, and weaknesses as they do in Mario 2. And Bowser's in the bottle. <laughs> Anyway, executive producer Stern Rada. Unfortunately, this was the last Mario game he ended up working on. So, uh, what an appropriate... It's not a bad send-off for him because, unfortunately, he ended up passing away of cancer. And, uh, the end. Best times for completing courses will now be displayed. Fast Ghost Me characters now come and visit courses. So yeah, there are still some stamps we have to get. And they're going to be working on something. What will they be working on? We'll find out next time. Because it's just going to take us back to the title screen. So, um, next time on Super Mario 3D World, we'll start the bonuses. Where we will basically, um, and wow, we only died 20 times in this playthrough. But, uh, yeah, uh, we'll start to do the bonuses and, um, we'll go from there. See you guys next time.